Have you ever wondered if two completely different numbers could raise each other to a power and end up giving the exact same result? This equation looks impossible at first glance, but there's a surprising twist waiting for us. We're looking for positive integers that are actually different from each other. Most people try random guessing, but that just leads to frustration. Usually, the bigger the base or exponent, the result just skyrockets in one direction. But here's the thing. There actually are pairs where this works perfectly. And once you see the trick, you'll never look at exponents the same way again. All right, let's start experimenting. The first pair most people think of is 2 and 3. Let's check. Does 2 to the 3rd equal 3 to the 2nd? We get 8 versus 9. Close, but not equal. This is the problem with random guessing. What about 3 and 5? Now we've got 243 versus 125. The difference is getting worse as numbers grow. There's no clear pattern by trial and error. The values jump all over the place. Instead of blindly testing numbers, we need a smarter strategy, something that cuts through the chaos. Enough guessing. Let's turn this into something we can actually analyze. The key is to transform the equation itself. Let's bring back our original equation. When variables appear in exponents, there's a classic move that almost no one thinks about on their first try. Take logarithms. Since both sides are positive, we can safely take the natural logarithm of both sides. This transformation is perfectly valid. We won't lose any solutions. Now here comes the magic. We can use the power rule of logarithms to bring those stubborn exponents down to ground level. Beautiful. Now we have ey times the natural log of x equals x times the natural log of y. Much more manageable. But we can make this even cleaner. Watch what happens when we rearrange this equation. Dividing both sides by x times dy gives us this beautifully symmetric structure. The same function of x must equal the same function of y. This equation structure just revealed something incredible. Our problem boils down to analyzing one special function. Let's call this function f of z. We need to find when f of x equals f of y for different integers. The derivative shows us exactly what's happening. This function increases, reaches a maximum, then decreases forever. Look at the shape of this curve. It tells the whole story. The curve rises and then falls. The peak occurs at z equals e, about 2.718. This is the key insight that will solve our puzzle. This insight just narrowed our infinite search down to a handful of possibilities. For f of x to equal f of y with different integers, one must be on the increasing part of the curve and the other on the decreasing part. The only positive integers less than e are 1 and 2, so our smaller number must be either 1 or 2. Let's start with the possibility that our smaller number is 1. If x equals 1, then we need the natural log of 1 over 1 to equal our function of y. But here's a problem. The natural log of 1 is 0. So we need the natural log of y divided by y to equal 0. This forces y to equal 1 as well. But wait, we need x and y to be different. This violates our condition, so case 1 is out. That leaves us with just one possibility for the smaller number. Let's see if x equals 2 works. Now we need to find an integer y greater than e that makes this equation work. Let's try some values. Since y must be greater than about 2.7, Let's try y equals 4. We need to check if the natural log of 4 divided by 4 equals our target value. Here's a clever trick. 4 is just 2 squared. Using the power rule again, we can bring that 2 down to get 2 times natural log of 2 all over 4. And look at that. The fraction simplifies to exactly natural log of 2 over 2. It's a perfect match. We found it. The pair 2, 4 is a solution to our impossible-looking equation. Let's verify this works in the original equation. This is the moment of truth. Does 2 to the 4th power really equal 4 to the 2nd power? 2 to the 4th is 16. 4 squared is also 16. 
perfect equality. Our mathematical detective work paid off. But wait, are there other integer solutions hiding out there? Let's prove this is the only one. Through calculus, we can prove that for any integer bigger than 4, the function value gets too large to match with any smaller integer. By symmetry, if 2.4 works, then 4.2 also works. These are the only distinct positive integer solutions to this famous equation. And there you have it. What seemed impossible at first, two different numbers raising each other to the same result, turns out to have a beautiful, unique solution. We went from random chaos, applied some clever mathematics, and discovered this rare mathematical beauty. The logarithm trick transformed an impossible-looking problem into an elegant solution. If this puzzle blew your mind, hit that subscribe button and share this with someone who loves brain teasers. There are so many more mathematical mysteries waiting to be explored.